So you clicked on this video because you want to make some money from your Maple Story adventures. Very understandable. I'm going to walk you through the entire process uh, from making a wallet to depositing funds and withdrawing the funds as well. I'm going to try to explain everything as best as possible. And just keep in mind that I don't really even know crypto too well. I've been in the game for a little bit now, um, but it's very confusing. And I'm going to try to simplify it as much as possible. And hopefully there's not too many steps for you to follow. I'm going to put whatever links in the description below for you to check out. Um, so it'll make your life pretty easy. But hopefully I can make this very digestible and uh, help you on your way. Um, so first off, if you want to play MapleStory in the first place, you need to have a wallet, uh, a MetaMask wallet, preferably, I think. That's the only way. Um, so, I mean, you can just go over to MetaMask. Dot io i'll put it in the description as well and very easy to make a wallet i recommend you get the google chrome extension so it'll just bring it up every time you need to like sign into like the uh anytime you have to like make a transaction you just have to like press like sign on your wallet uh, that comes up on the extension and then you're good to go um, you got to be very careful of what you're signing though be make sure that you're on the proper website and whatever but Pretty simple stuff and just make sure to note down the the seed phrase like all these different uh, words that they give you when you initially make the wallet because if you lose access to whatever like computer or phone that you're using that on then you will need that seed phrase if you want to sign in on a different device. Um, so yeah after you got a MetaMask wallet okay then we are going to have to buy the cryptocurrency somehow all right. So we're going to have to get NXPC, which is the, that, that is the MapleStory currency. That's the crypto token. And you can see that it's trading at $1.63 per token. So if I want to buy 10 of these, it's going to be $16.30 um, and so on. Um, and this is going to fluctuate uh, every second. The price is always moving. It's pretty down right now, but that's irrelevant if we just want to buy and sell the token right now. So you need to get some money into your MetaMask wallet and how you're going to do that depends, could depend on where you live. Um, for me, the easiest way to do it was through Coinbase. So you've got your MetaMask wallet set up, but now you have to actually fund the wallet. You have to actually put some crypto into the wallet. So I don't think it's really that easy to do it directly through MetaMask. You may have to use uh, something else like Coinbase or Binance. And if you've never used one of these before, uh, it's very simple to do. You just, you just put in your credit card and you, you just select what you want to buy. Obviously, select uh, Avalanche. That's the, that's the one that you want to get if possible. But if you have other currencies, that's fine. I'll tell you how to uh, swap that real quick. But if you can buy the Avalanche or AVAX uh, tokens, then that's the easiest way to do it um, and to transfer it. Um, otherwise we'll have to go through another step here, but also, yeah, just keep in mind that if it's your first time buying on like Coinbase and, and trying to transfer it, sometimes I do hold your money for like seven days before you can actually trade it. So just look into some options for that. I don't know what the easiest route is besides these, but this is how I usually, uh, this is how I initially funded my MetaMask account. Um, and it's the easiest one. Um, it just, sometimes they hold the money and whatever for your first trade. So. Let's say we, uh, so you can skip ahead at the bottom if you already have AVAX on your, if you already have some Avalanche tokens in your wallet, but let's say you have other tokens in your wallet, uh, like me, let's say you have like Ethereum or something. Uh, let's go to D bridge. I like to use D bridge, anything that's going to bridge funds basically from one network to the other. So, uh, let's just go with this. Uh, I have USDC on my account. All right. You can see I have $99 of USC or uh, USDC. And then I want to receive AVAX. So you go to Avalanche and you want to receive AVAX. You cannot directly do the NXPC. It's a little annoying. But uh, yeah, if you type it in, it doesn't come up. So let's just go with the AVAX. We're going to transfer to AVAX. And let's transfer, let's say 10 bucks. All right. Okay, so it's going to take like two seconds. And I'm going to get $9.95. There's going to be a very slight fee, 5 cent fee. Um, if you want to send it to another address, you would put in the, the other address here if you wanted to do that. But I'm sending it to my same MetaMask wallet uh, just to make everything easy. That's my MetaMask wallet that I have connected to MapleStory as well. So I'm going to press give permission. We're going to uh, sign this here. 
Looks like the spending cap is going to be $11, but it doesn't necessarily uh, spend all those $11. We'll see how much it actually spends. But yeah, then you, after you do that, then you press confirm trade, then it'll bring it up again. And I think it'll actually tell you how much uh, you have to pay here. So the network fee is going to be 91 cents and you can play with it a little bit and wait. Uh, you can select like the slower one if you want to pay less fees, which I think I'm already on like the slowest one. Yeah. Um, so it's actually going to cost me a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but I'm doing it for the sake of the video. Um, but yeah, the fees sometimes can add up, especially if you're trading from a different, uh, a different blockchain. That's why if you, that's why you want to do it from something besides like Ethereum. Like if you have some funds on base or if you just have it directly on AVAX, it's going to be a lot cheaper. But for the sake of this, I'm spending an extra $3 to transfer the $10. It is what it is. Um, at least I'm getting my money over. All right. So transaction confirmed, blah, blah, blah. All right. So we've got the funds on AVAX, on the Avalanche AVAX blockchain. So now we're going to go to a swapping website um, like Uniswap or uh, Jumper Exchange. They all do the same thing. And we're going to select the AVAX currency. So let's go to the Avalanche blockchain up here. Then we're going to select AVAX. We have $10.29. We just did that. All right. And we're going to select the token that we want to buy with those tokens. So type in NXPC. I know I had it right there, but make sure it says this. Make sure you're on the right blockchain and we're going to select it. All right. Like that. All right. Now we're going to send all of our tokens over to NXPC. We're going to convert it for NXPC. Um, so we have got... We're going to get 5.89 about NXPC. We're just going to press review. Always do your research, blah, blah, blah. All right, you know what? Actually, it's making a good point. We're not going to have a lot for uh, covering other costs. So let's just do like almost all of it. It's a little annoying, but let's just do like 0.45. So we save like a few cents. You know what? 0.44 or something. We save a few cents in there for transaction fees because we may need that to actually transfer the NXPC over as well, even though you get a free couple ones. But hear me out here. Sometimes it's usually good to just leave a little bit of uh, AVAX in there because uh, there's always like these small transaction fees that you have to pay. So I'm going to transfer most of it over. I'm going to press review and it's going to cost five cents to transfer. So let's press swap. Let's swap it up. We got to confirm in the wallet here. Gonna come up, it's gonna say six cent uh, network fee, sure, whatever. Let's do it. You're always paying these small fees. Um, already confirmed, boom, just like that. Now we have NXPC in the wallet. Let's go back to the uh, Maple Story website. We're so close. All right, so we're on MSU.io and we're gonna go to the top left here. We're gonna select swap and warp. This is how you swap and warp your funds over to the thing. Um, and this is also how you're going to get your money out as well when we withdraw. All right, so make sure you have selected the AVAX chain right here. And we're going to send it over to the Hennessy chain, which will then make everything a lot easier once we have it over there. We're so close. All right, we're so close. So let's say I want to send over 2.8. I'll send over half the NXPC. All right. And we're just going to type in the wallet address. That is our wallet address. The one that I just told you. This one right here. So I'll just go to my MetaMask. Just copy this right here at the top. Type that in. All right. You can even send it to your friends if you have their wallet address. Uh, but make sure you're sending it to your own if you want to send it to your own. And the estimated gas fee is like one penny less than a penny so we're gonna warp this over we're so close confirm it gonna pop up in your thing again two cents or confirmed um it says unknown but it should be there. Well, our balance is updated at this point, so 
There we go. Yeah, there you go. You can see it up here. We can see it when we go to swap. So now we're going to swap the last step. All right, the last step. This is how you can withdraw money as well. Is to swap your NXPC. Or Nasos. All right. The so one Naso. So one NXPC is 100,000 Nasos. So basically 100,000 Nasos equals whatever this price shows right here, which is $1.63. This is where you can either exchange your nasos or this is where you can either exchange your nasos for nxpc you get the tokens into your uh into your wallet you can withdraw or you can do it the other way around and you can trade your nxpc for nasos so i'm just going to demonstrate it real quick i'm going to pay these fees just for you all right please like and subscribe this has been a very difficult video to make it's uh, after you get it going then it's easy but uh, yeah, the initial steps are pretty confusing. That's just crypto in a nutshell. Uh, but it is what it is. Maybe there's an easier way to do it. Let me know in the comments because I'm kind of an idiot. But uh, yeah, this is how I do it at least. So here we go. I'm going to exchange all of my NXPC for 334,000 Nasos. We're going to swap that real quick. Got to pay another fee. I'm paying all these fees for you. All right. So it tells you how much you're going to get. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to accept one more time here. Boom. This is the easy part. It's been swapped. There we go. Huge. Okay. Now my balance is 2 million nasos. Let's go, bro. But let's say I let's say I want to withdraw. Let's say I've been farming on the Maple Store, you know, maybe I've been making some trades in the in the in the marketplace, all right? I'm kind of I'm kind of rich in nasos, but I want real money. All right? And you know, the, the NXPC token's kind of down right now. So let's exchange while it is, all right? So boom, I wanna I wanna exchange 100,000 Nasos for one NXPC right now. And they actually give you some free, uh, they give you free gas support for the first couple of trades here. Um, so I'm gonna exchange the Nasos. I'm gonna get one XPC, one NXPC in my wallet after this transaction. Let's go, let's go. Looks good. There we go. It's been swapped. That's it at the top. There we go, bro. Just like that. So simple. Now we have the one XPC, NXPC in there. You can see it on your uh, recent things as well. It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. Um, yeah, I know I made it look really easy, but uh, sheesh. Let me know if you have any questions in the chat in the in the comments below i'll try my best to answer them all right i'm not i'm not a genius with it definitely uh take your time because you don't want to send your money to the wrong place um and use chat gpt if you need to look up some stuff maybe watch some youtube videos if you need to because crypto is really confusing at first but that's how you do it in a nutshell make sure you're doing it on the avax chain the avalanche chain and uh please like and subscribe because i my brain hurts and i'll see you in the next one Peace.